Well, good afternoon. I'm Rick Dancer. Welcome to Get Real with Rick Dancer. And we are brought to you today by Elements Health Clubs in Lane County. That's Springfield, West Eugene, and Oakway Center. Um, and the whole idea with Elements is that they think the element to a good community is good stories and staying healthy. So there's a gentleman at our gym who I'm friends with, and he was talking about his kid, oh, three or four months ago. I went online and I started listening and I thought, oh my God, the world is really going to be okay. So the title of this show today, I think is going to be, the world really is going to be okay. And um, we're going to show you why here in just a second. I'm going to introduce you to a young man, and I'm going to take you into his house. We're over in Springfield, and wait until you hear this. Tell them who you are. My name is Harrison Weezert, and uh, I make piano music. <laughs> so you have been doing this for how long, my man? Uh, I've been doing this since I was three years old, so I've been playing for about 18 years. <laughs> it's been a long time. When was your first piano lesson, Harrison? Uh, my piano lesson started when I was about three years old. Yeah, very young. I started very young, and then I played for about 10 years, taking lessons and whatnot. And then after that, I took a break, and I started thinking, I should be able to make my own piano music and just hasn't stopped since. So show them how you do that. So you don't, you do chords, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you want to take a look at the notepad, I basically know the order of all the chords that I play my songs in. I put them in a notepad so I remember them, of course. Um, but then a lot of it is muscle memory. It comes down to just kind of letting the music flow. So what does that do for you as a 22-year-old young man? Um, you and your parents move into this house and you rent a grand piano. Yeah. You know, most people be looking for the next video game and you're, you're, you're renting a grand piano to put in your living room. Grand piano, yes, um, I really love grand pianos because there's a very specific feel to it. Um, for a really long time I made my music on a keyboard um, and although that did the job, it was good, it wasn't enough. And with the feeling of a grand piano, the way the keys feel, the way it sounds, it really influences how I make music. And so when I'm playing, this ability to free play is just something that I can spend my days doing and have that ability to just really enjoy the creativity of it, really enjoy the creation of the music that I love personally because it's mine. Where does it come from? Um, I like that. It comes from randomness. It's almost like the randomness of me playing can sometimes bring out the beauty in the piano. I don't know what it is, but something about just pressing a bunch of random keys sooner or later, if you do it for long enough, something will come out that sounds like something that everyone wants to hear. So it's not something that most 22-year-old young men are spending a lot of time doing, and is this your soul? I would say so. It's something that, it's me. Um, it's definitely a part of me. I mean. I've spent my entire life so far just playing piano and before it was mostly just learning piano pieces and whatnot, which, which is fine and all, but after doing that for 10 or so years, I was getting very burnt out. Um, and sooner or later I decided it's like, well, what else can I do with this, right? And I started realizing that 
I have this ability to make music. And as long as I can chart out on the piano what keys work together, just like on that notebook, I can actually figure out how to make whatever I want. And so there's that freedom. Somebody wrote something on here. Hold on, I gotta see what that. Mm-hmm. What'd you write? Rick, when you leave, please leave a microphone over the piano. Ooh, good idea. <laughs> good idea. So you do put this online. Where can people find yeah, that? So everyone can find my music and all my free plays and all of my music on any streaming platform. That's Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music. Um, and on top of that, if you want to listen to me do live streams and you just see how I free play, Piano Man Harrison. At Piano Man Harrison on all social media. That's Facebook. That's Instagram. Um, yeah, and you can just watch me play. So how has this helped you get through COVID stuff? Well, it's definitely helped me get through COVID because what else do you do when you're stuck at home every single day for six months straight? It's like, okay, well, I can watch TV shows. Well, there's only so many of those. Well, I can play video games. and there's so many of those. I can lay in bed and do nothing all day. Or you can sit and play piano for hours on end and just see what happens. Kind of just create and enjoy that and get better. Honestly, two years ago, I started playing and... It was not very good. I was kind of, it was jumbly. It wasn't very clear and it was, it wasn't very smooth. Two years later, I've gotten way smoother. My music has become far more complex and I'm just excited to see where it goes. Somebody said they love you. You play their sorority events for years. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tracy, probably? Um, Maybe. <laughs> I can't get a name here. Hold on. Yeah, it's yeah. Tracy Jenkins. Hey, Tracy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so play something. Play something. Instead of, yeah, instead of me jabbering here, let me hear you just play something else again. Sounds good. So this is a song I've been working on for about two years. Um, I'm still trying to decide a name for it. This will be on my next album. Um, So if you guys come up with some names, do let me know. Thank you. 
Harrison, that's really amazing. Thank you. No, before I started this, I told people, you know, the, um, I think that stuff like this is proof that the world really is going to be okay. I mean, as a 22 year old kid, do you think the world's going to be okay? I do think the world is going to be okay. Um, actually, in fact, um, about a hundred years ago, about a hundred years ago, hundred hundred years ago, in 1918, was the Spanish flu. Um, and there's tons and tons of pictures of people wearing face masks and having signs on their chest saying, hey, if you don't wear a mask, you're gonna go to jail. It's kind of crazy how similar it is to now. But what, what did happen is that it did change. Back then, science really didn't know anything about viruses or anything about how to stop them. Now we have that science and now that's where my optimism is placed in that, that I do think, yes, society has that right now, but sooner or later I think we're all going to go back to the normal way of living so so um, you know Elements Health Club sponsors this because your dad's a member there so when in the hell are we going to see you down there <laughs> yeah hey I got a personal gym now I'm trying to get back into it <laughs> gotta warm myself up <laughs> yeah to keep up with your dad right, yeah, right. so you guys yeah. again this is sponsored by Elements Health Club um, if you go down and mention Rick Dancer or the show or say you saw the piano man they'll give you a one free month if you're a new member I also have a lot of membership deals a lot of new classes and everybody's wearing masks it's clean and they're putting classes outside when they can so it's uh, and we want to thank them because they really just like us to go out and do stories on people like this good guy uh, to show what's going on so since we as we leave can you just play one more little thing for and I'll, I'll let these people hear one more thing as you go so you guys go check out elements because without them we could not bring you great stories about wonderful young people like this what's the play? What's the play? I will play my dog's favorite song his name's Snoopy he absolutely loves this song Thank you.